Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another craptastic episode of the Marlin Music Show. I am David. Hope everyone's doing very well out there today, no matter where you are and what you are doing. So today, we're going to do a review and listen through of the new McMar song, Loyal to the Lie. Y'all ready? Let's go. He's Marler, and this is his music show. All right, so uh, this week, the Nick Mars released a new song solo song first one since he left motley crew um called wall to the lie so today i am um filming from my living room um my wife's got me kicked out of the office kind of sort of not really we're doing a little bit of uh reorganization around here that's why you see a uh, bathroom vanity over my left shoulder here um we're doing some work around here so i kind of had to pick a different spot to um film today don't worry about the background just concentrate on me and you'll forget about everything in your life that's good so anyway so anyway my Mick, uh you know left motley crew a couple years ago um a lot of varying stories on why that happened did, did he get kicked out did he quit of his own accord whatever and there's been lawsuits between the two now and it's just become a real real freaking circus something that motley crew really didn't need anyway because they've kind of become a circus in their own right um, you know, Vince's vocals and him supposedly lip syncing or not lip syncing. And, you know, supposedly uh, Nikki hasn't played bass in like 40 years or something. I don't know what's going on there. So a lot of drama around that whole situation. Um, but Mick now is out on his own. Um, and he has put out a new single called Loyal to the Lie. Um, it just dropped this week. So why don't we take a listen to it and then talk about it after we're finished. All right, here we go. Like the opening, a little different. Love this groovy riff, man.
Alright. Love the feel of this, I gotta say. Very interesting, it's a very good song, first of all. A um, little bit of a motley feel to it, which you would expect, since he was the key player, I think, in their sound, especially, in, obviously, in terms of the guitar playing, the riffs, what, whatnot. A um, little bit of industrial feel at the beginning. Um, I was watching another YouTuber review this earlier, and I agree with something that he said. I was kind of expecting more of a bluesy thing from Mick on this. Um, not unhappy about that. However, I love his bluesy style. Um, I don't know if y'all remember, if you ever heard uh, Bittersweet that he did, I believe, when they did the album with um, John Karabi. Um, they each released, and these were like extras you could buy at the time, and I think they eventually put it in a, one of the box sets they put out back in the early 2000s. Each member did, they wrote their own song, did their own thing or whatever, and his was called Bittersweet. It was an instrumental <clears throat> with some of the best guitar playing, most bluesy, rock, emotional, kind of make your hair stand up, talk to your soul guitar playing that I've ever heard, honestly. It was really good and it really, and not that I didn't before that, but that piece really made me appreciate the kind of guitar player and how good Mick Mars really is. Um, I feel like in a lot of circles he is um, not given the respect or is, totally, is, is underrated as a guitar player. I think his influence on guitar in the 80s and other guitar players is probably a lot more than anybody knows. Um, the, the guy had such a, a, a cool tone to his playing. Um, you know, when, when they first came out, I, I've said this in videos before, that... I had never really heard anything. And I'd been exposed to music from a very young age in, in hard rock, a little bit of heavy metal. Um, this album did two things for me. I hadn't really been exposed to Sabbath yet um, when I heard Shout Out the Devil. But Shout Out the Devil exposed me to that kind of guitar tone and I was just like blown away. Like, oh my gosh, th this, is, this is like the sound right here. For me, it just, it was so gritty and hard and dark and I, I love I love all guitar but that's the kind of feel I really really like um, and so it exposed me to that and it also kind of introduced me to metal um, up until then I hadn't listened to a lot I mean I was a Kiss fan I listened to Ario Speedwagon a lot of 80s rock pop rock at the time um, you know Quiet Riot was out I think I mean I had listened to you know I'd heard ACDC Listened to Iron Maiden a little bit, but but not gotten really deep into it, right? And Shout Out the Devil just did that for me. And I've got a whole other video about Shout Out the Devil um, that, that you can look on, on my channel and see. I did a review of it a, a few weeks back. So, but Bittersweet was one of those things that kind of showed more so than anything that he had done in, done in Motley, even though it was done while he was in Motley his real bluesy, soulful side. And that's what I was kind of expecting this to be. 
Now, you know, this is a single from an upcoming album he's got coming out called The Other Side of Mars. Um, so who knows what else is going to be in there. Like I got a hunch it may be very diverse um, because he is a very diverse guitar player and does have some diverse sounds. But, <coughs> excuse me, for me, this is a little bit unexpected. I, I like it. Um, I'm a little, I love the groove. I, I love the riffing. Um, the vocals are pretty good. Yeah, you got a pretty good vocalist that the vocals fit with the song. Um, and so I'm wondering, though, exactly that if there's a message in the lyrics. Um, loyal to the lie. So, you know, I'm going to I'm going to be kind of devil's advocate or just kind of maybe stir the pot a little bit here. Is this his message to the other guys in Motley Crue that they're loyal to the lie? You know, are they <clears throat> are, are they trying to stand on something that's that's that, that's fake or, or not true or just trying to make themselves look good? Because to me, from everything I've seen and heard, is kind of what's going on here. You know, they <clears throat> I, I kind of halfway believe that Mick did leave the band on his own because I think you know, he's several years older than the rest of the guys. He's got that spinal condition that's been affecting him all of his life. And I would imagine that touring over the years has really taken its toll on him. And it's not something he could see happening and him being able to do on a regular basis long term like they've gotten back into doing. But I also know that, you know, they started spewing some lies about him and you know, he started spewing stuff about them, which may or may not be lies. And I say lies about him. I don't, nobody knows the truth, but everybody involved. Um, but, you know, if it is a lie, if, if Mick does feel a little dissed or whatever, is this his way of saying, you know, you're staying loyal to this lie and you know the truth. Um, and you're trying to make me look bad and put me down because of it. I don't know. But it's a, you know, th this song overall is, it, it's really good regardless of the message behind it. Um, a, the only thing I'm a little disappointed with is the solo, and not the solo itself. I think it's a good solo. You can hear mix um, underlying sound right there. You know, the, you know, you can hear it. You can tell it's Mick Mars. I just wish it had been maybe a little bit longer or had a little bit more involved, been a little bit more involved than it was. But for what it was, it was a good solo. It was a good song, and we shall see in the weeks to come. When this album comes out, I'm not sure the release date on this yet. I feel like it's probably going to be pretty soon. But then again, bands nowadays are releasing singles six months ahead of an album coming out. So who knows? It might be summer before we get this. Um, but it'll be interesting to see in the weeks slash months to come, you know, if he releases any more singles ahead of it. And then when it does finally come out, um, what this sounds like, what it's all about, and, um, you know, where everything goes with him moving forward and with Motley Crue. Very interesting. Um, they've got a new album supposedly they're working on <coughs> that they claim is the heaviest thing they've ever done, yada, yada, yada. And I'm saying they're going, okay, we'll see. They've said that before. Um, they've never matched the sound, never matched the heaviness, the attitude of uh, Shout at the Devil. So we'll kind of see where it leads. It'll be interesting to see also, you know, what they sound like with John Five um, in, in the writing process and in the studio with them. Um, John Five is a very, very good guitar player. He, he's incredible. Um, does he fit Motley Crue with what they're doing? I mean, you know, he's playing the songs, he's in everything. We'll see how it translates into a new album um, with them and see if, you know, they put out anything that's decent, you know. Arguably, the only thing decent is Dr. Feelgood. <clears throat> Although, in my mind, Saints of Los Angeles was uh, a good CD. And really, the, the, the album they put up with John Karabi, I thought was one of the best. Um, but as far as most of the Vince albums past Shout the Devil, maybe Dr. Feelgood, and it's just, just, there's not much there. Anyway, we'll see how it goes with them. And we'll see how it goes with Mick, and I, I wish them both the best. And uh, I'm pulling for Mick, I really am. Um, I like him as a guitar player. I like what he's done. Uh, I like the way he's carried himself over the years. You know, he never was the bad boy of the group. He, he never... He never got caught up in all of their shenanigans and, and all the trouble and press that they got into. He just kind of stayed to himself, did his job, and did it well. So hopefully um, he'll come out of this come out of this well and this will be a success for him. So 
Anyway, that's my take on the new McMorrow single, Loyal to the Lie. Um, I'm interested to find out here, see what you guys think about it. Um, give me your comments on it, um, how, how you like it, um, what you think it might turn into, all that kind of stuff. I always like seeing comments from you guys and seeing you guys comment amongst each other. Um, it's kind of what I'm here for, to put stuff out there, get feedback, and let's just have something to uh, concentrate on and, and talk about and forget about the you know, all the bullshit we've got going on in everyday life. So that's why I'm here. So anyway, until the next video, I'm going to sign off. Um, comment below. Before you do that, however, make sure you subscribe and like and ring that notification bell so you'll get new content as soon as it comes out. So I'm going to leave you until our next video and say, as I always do, be good to each other, be good to yourself, and life will be good to you. Peace.